All right, let's talk about Article 336, which is power and control tray cable. You know, for years, not a lot happened in Article 336. Tray cable was pretty much just what it sounded like, the cable you put in a cable tray. And unless you did a lot of cable tray, then you, you didn't really read Article 336. And we're kind of seeing that being expanded over the last few code editions. We introduced uh, a new type of tray cable called TC. ERJP, which can be installed inside buildings and for, for pulling through joists, tray cable exposed run joist pulling, TCERJP. So we've seen some expansions on the permitted uses for tray cable, and we're going to talk about another one that they made in this video. So let's take a look at 336.10, uses permitted, and we'll see what they did. So some tray cables can now be used for service conductors. All right, well, there you go. When I look at this cable, this looks a lot like SER cable, and it is SER cable. But let's take a look at what the code language says, and then let's analyze the jacket a little bit further. Uses permitted. I can now use tray cable for service entrance conductors if it's marked TC-ER and is identified for services. Okay, so this is an interesting one. I. I don't like the word identified in the code very much because it's not clearly defined. It has a definition, but I don't think the definition is great. We have approved, which is whatever the inspector will accept. We have listed, which means I sent it to UL or Intertech or somebody and they, they tested it and it complies with a product standard and everything else. And then somewhere in the middle you have identified, which means that it's judged as being suitable for a specific application. Okay, well, who judges it? I mean, I guess a testing laboratory could, but the code doesn't say that. It could be the AHJ who judges it as suitable. And, and in that case, it's no different than the word approved. So here it says, okay, look, you can use tray cable for service conductors. First of all, if it's marked TC-ER, tray cable exposed run. And if it's judged as suitable for services. How do I know that this thing's suitable for services? Well, let's look at the cable. This is type TCER, which we know tray cable exposed run. JP means I can pull it through floor joists. All right. If I keep reading, it has a dual rating. It's dual rated as TCER JP, and it's dual rated as what? SER cable. Now, what does the R stand for? Well, the R just stands for round. Mm, yeah, nothing exciting, right? SEU is unarmored. Now, see, oh man, what does R stand for? Robust or some sort of armor? No, it's round. So, oh, okay. SE is what? Service entrance. This is obviously identified for services. That's the name of the cable, service entrance, right? So this cable is SE cable and it's TC cable. So can you use this for services? Yeah, the, the fact that it's SER is services. Can you use it for tray cable? Well, yeah, it's TC cable. So can you use it for a combination somehow? Yeah, that, that's what it is. T-C-E-R-J-P, S-E-R. So new type of cable, new allowances, and there you have it. So, you know, looking at it, I, I don't even know that I would necessarily look at the T-C-E-R-J-P. I, I mean, if I'm using this for service conductors, I'm just going to look and it says, hey, man, it's S-E-R. We're done. The fact that it says T-C-E-R-J-P is kind of a bonus. But really, I don't know that you'd have to take advantage of both of those listings simultaneously, but it is listed for both applications. So there you have it. New allowances for certain types of tray cable. We'll see you on the next video.